Hi, so the last part installing dlib. I hope it should work. <laughs> so we're gonna clear this up. So we have install OpenCV, uh, the dependencies, um, PyCharm by far, and uh, and I even don't know what else. But by far, this is a clean system, and we are working on this. So, um, in case you just came directly to this video, the this video, uh, I suggest you go back and check the other videos first, cause there's a lot of jumping here and there, and codings and commands added there. So you may find something tip which can help yourself. So in the previous video, we already installed the uh, uh, build essential, but as we are going through the step by subscription so let's go ahead with that reading already new version is available pretty good we're gonna cross check with cmake too so though we did just now but uh, no problem right and and we have this I Okay, so this is in 116 MB. Let's stall it. I'll I'll pause meanwhile. Uh, this is done, and then I'll resume once it is done. Okay, so this is done. So setting up and unpacking and everything is done for this guy. So let's jump to another one. So we have now. So okay, in this uh, I did mention both together were better option is just to copy and paste one by one so we'll do with this guy first let boost all so oh boy sorry wrong command this will make more sense now so another 453 MB data we'll do the same I'll pause and resume once it's done sorry I didn't realize that I didn't resume it so uh, once we, we were done with uh, lip boost all dev what we have to do is just remove this and we just have to run this uh, wget command so this is the thing just remove everything and put sudo kw and this bootstrap link so it will work uh, this is all it should show it's just going to send some http request we will get some get.py.py and we just have to save it somewhere okay and once that is done just Python 3 get bit 3 so I think this is we just making sure that uh, your pip thing is there and come on show me up okay so it's basically installing and uninstalling the same so it, it's it doesn't matter you just got this version now so that's good uh, this is good numpy we already installed so I'm not expecting something new uh, why we check for pip again is basically if somebody jumped directly to this video and haven't gone through the entire thing so at least the guy should not fail so this for us the requirement is already uh, satisfied but for others it may it's gonna cross check and install download all that stuff then skypy so these are all requirement not for dlib i can guarantee on that but for face recognition uh it does check and the face recognition does check for dlib also but the point is we are doing dlib differently so i'm just making it sure that any dependency which has a dependency should not get uh run into a problem or show any error or something like that so that that, that is for this Let's get the mage again. It's gonna take time again. So what I'm gonna do is simply gonna install it and I'll show it. So next, after the skit learn image, it is delib and then face recognition and then it, then it's done. We can simply go and jump and start doing programming from face recognition and all that stuff, right? So for now, I'm just gonna hold and I'm just gonna install this and once it's done, I'll resume the video again. Okay, so I was thinking that I can start with skit image, but something that I need to tell on this. Um, we were installing SkyPy, so with this, that is done. And now we are installing Sky, skit image. And 
it has a lot of dependencies see so one is network x then image io five wavelets and now it's matplotlib so we we actually skip this one while installing open cd but see if we install the skit learn image we need matplotlib so there 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 are a lot of uh, ways that when you may ignore for one package but eventually you may end up installing the same because it is needed so now it's installing so i'm not going to pause the video and our next command is the one that we are doing uh, been chasing for it uh, okay everything is done now the cache is i'm going to pause the recording i'm just going to paste and hit enter because i've seen my system freezing while installing dlib and i don't want recording to be running and so i don't want my process to be busy to install this and fail so just taking a precaution there i'm just going to paste it i'm going to hit enter fingers are crossed I'm going to pause the recording for now. In between, it does fail. So it was getting stuck and my terminal was getting stuck and freeze and all. So I cancel, I try to search. So it was building wheel. I just need to cross check if the wheel is there or not. So well, luckily it was there. So then after a couple of time, I, I, I thought that let's, let's do update and upgrade because in the same terminal we are adding uh, we've been adding and installing a lot of packages so after that uh, after a lot of enters <laughs> and a lot of pauses successfully it installs but it does it did take uh, around I think 20 to 25 minutes just to install a single package and uh, apparently I have to close my chrome and everything because it, it was um, all taking in so now uh, there is nothing much. We just have to do sudo pip three install space break cognition and we can hit enter. And we'll just click this face recognition package and oh wow, does it it did give some errors and we just have to deal with that. Both setup tool so I think setup tools are not be the output from the command user bin python 3 let's see import setup tool token fail okay so let's see maybe I might not be going with the wrong package you are not needed uh, what I'm thinking is basically to close this one because it has done a lot of command runnings and all we will open Google Chrome first. So I guess it is face underscore recognition, not face recognition, but I have to be sure about it. Oh, come on, Chrome. Let me just check all those recordings and I'll resume it again. So yeah, um, uh, it is face underscore recognition. So I just, just typed it. So let's go ahead. It should work. Collecting, collecting. So now it will collect others. So that face without underscore recognition, maybe redirect into another package. If you ever need to search any package, uh, I'll just show you. I mean, while it install, it doesn't matter. Installation on this is different. So what you can do is pip three, sorry, and search and just give the term like uh, recognition or let's do what's up now don't try to search for all these it's like see uh watch it on your behalf on whatsapp and all that so these these are packages available with the keyword whatsapp so you can just go ahead um there there are a lot of packages so like i have worked on telethon which is a telegram package i i actually uh, get to know about this uh, uh, by by searching this only so these two library for whatsapp are not working they they are depreciated i guess but i don't know why it still they exist but yeah i guess they are depreciated because the whatsapp thing got changed these libraries are that time when whatsapp was not acquired by facebook but now it is so yeah it is like that 
but yeah this is this is a way you can search your package uh, and you can search uh, for the do it so maybe in face recognition we have different uh, packages so we, we may have face underscore recognition different and so face under recognition this is one we want to work on but I guess I I call somebody else so what can we oh it doesn't even exist oh that's that's something new but that's all but basically it is it is uh, this is the one we we want but not the other one that I just mistyped it and so again this is this is this will get models that will get installed this is last of the last step and so the lib is already installed that is why we are working on and this is simple face recognition once this is done I'll show you at the final stage that it does check for dlib so we need dlib before installing face recognition or working further using this face recognition package uh, but for now I'm just gonna pause it again <laughs> and this is I think I'm not even sure how much time I have paused it so I'm gonna pause for this one and once this is completed I'll let you know that's all so uh, this is how your DLib and face recognition will be installed by far if you have followed every single video so you can uh, this is the one DLib so requirement already satisfied this is the better option while you have and it is done for 3.7 which we have so in case when you do all that installation you may not remember you may did it for 2.7 don't think that I have did everything and still it's showing wrong so because you did it for 2.7 not 3.6 or 7 whatever you have right now so just be make sure whatever Python version you're going to use is for that only you install those packages for that you make sure that um, your dlib is installed and then according to that you can go ahead with the face recognition um, apart from that everything is done uh, so if um, uh, it may take time for me to open and all but this is how it will be so once once these all is done then you can watch this video and you talk to know what all you can do further so that's all uh, I'll make sure I'll, I'll try to make a shell file for this so once that shell file is there it will um, you just have to run that file from the terminal and it should install all those step-by-step uh, uh, step, all these files all together so that you don't have to remember in all so that shell file will be available on my um, blog on my drive on my git and below these descriptions at github uh, youtube descriptions and videos so that's all and thank you for watching I'll find out some other topic to create videos and share it with you. That's all. Thank you.